good evening everyone welcome to tenny max now i am moving to exercise 1.2 question number one subdivision true what is the question actually discuss the following relation for reflexive symmetric and transitive let p denote the set of all strike line in a plane the relation are defined by l rated so this is called relation then l is perpendicular to m this is called a statement okay so first now i am moving to reflexive so reflexive reflexive we can say what is the meaning that is statement and relation the statement according to the reflexive condition if a comma a it belongs to r means it is called reflexive l is perpendicular to m so l is not perpendicular so kandipa or perpendicular line na or line pottu adukku perpendicular or line varum appo kandipa namakku l nu solla koodiya ore or letter da namakku kadaikum appo l nu solla koodiya ore letter la inni or adutha adhe letter ku perpendicular varna kandipa namakku panna mudiyadhu vera or letter da ipo edha or m nu namaala edukka mudiyum that's why we are saying l is not perpendicular to l okay the same letter okay l that's why we are saying the relation l does not related to l so we can say it is not reflexive i'm moving to next point symmetric okay so symmetric what is the meaning of symmetric if a comma b it belongs to r means a b comma a belongs to r that's why we are saying it is symmetric according to the given statement so relation and statement the relation actually so l related to m so l related to m means this is we can comparing l related to m means we can say l is perpendicular to m so l is so perpendicular to m if l is perpendicular to m then b comma a also interchanging interchanging means again another one statement isn't it first we have write it statement means what is the meaning so definitely we can say m is perpendicular to n so m is perpendicular m means m relation to n so this is we can prove because already just now i show no this is called l means this is called m so l is perpendicular m again m is perpendicular to l this is we can say it's a proof so it is symmetric moving to third one third one what is the name actually transitive so what is the meaning of transitive if a comma b it belongs to r then b comma c it belongs to r means a comma c it belongs to r first and last term r ku relation avarum apdi vandha enna solluvom transitive nu solluvom so how to rewrite to the term actually relation and statement so transitive means first we have to write it actually statement isn't it so first we have to write it as a relation statement what is the meaning of statement actually l related to m then m related to n okay then first and last so how to write actually l is perpendicular to m isn't it next condition m is perpendicular to n so next statement l and n definitely we can say l is does not l l does not perpendic perpendicular to n so definitely the relation l does not belongs to n so it is not it is not transitive so it is not transitive i will prove okay the same diagram okay so kuduthirukka kudiya diagram enna ezhudirukom l is perpendicular to m okay l is perpendicular to m then m is perpendicular to n another one line this is called n okay now they are telling now 
L does not perpendicular N. So, rendu line me parallel along varudu. If it is parallel, so it's not a perpendicular. That's why we are saying L does not perpendicular to N. So, L if it does not perpendicular N means definitely we can say it is actually not transitive. So, kudutruko kudiya condition ekku first one proof. Reflexive is correct. Sorry, my dear, reflex is also not reflex because L, L is not a condition, but in HMA, L does not belong to L. That's why uh, not reflexive and not transitive. Only symmetric only correct for subdivision true. Okay. So, please listen, my dear students. If you have any doubt, please put in command box. I am ready to clarify your doubts. Okay. Thanks to viewers. We will continue our next video. Bye-bye.